We're in position. Now, how do we get inside? I think the front door's open. Spies don't use the front door, Patrick. We've got to figure out a complicated way to get inside. I thought you were holding the rope. Who are you? Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I got a quick video for you guys. I'm working on a few um a guide, more guides, two more guides actually on this update. Um, and also I got another part of Sniper Elite coming out tonight. Um, for people wondering, you know, I'm sorry, just delayed that. I just been busy with um some of the GTA Online content. Um, but anyways, um this mission I wanted to talk about this specifically here. So um this is actually a new CEO crate mission, and basically this is just one of those missions that just randomly spawns whenever you buy crates and this mission can spawn if you buy one two or three crates now i only really know one other friend that has done this mission and he ranted about it to me as well um but i've talked to a lot of my friends and very few people have actually played this mission um i, I was actually surprised at the amount of people that don't do crates and it, i guess it's because people don't do crates they don't experience this but this mission and i am not over exaggerating some people might look at this video and say oh you're over exaggerating how bad can this mission be this mission is honestly one of the worst gta missions i have ever seen not just in gta online but in gta in general it's such a terrible mission it's such a poorly designed mission rockstar took something that could have been so simple and decided to make it so complicated and so ridiculous now whenever you get this mission i personally recommend that you just find a new session I know that you spent money on crates and the most you could have spent is $18,000, but if you do get this mission, and the easiest way to tell is it'll say go to hookies. If you see that mission, just leave. Don't do this mission. So let me show you guys exactly how complicated this mission is, because every single person I've talked to has either said to me that this mission is stupid, or they laughed at just how dumb this mission is. There isn't one person that I know that actually likes this mission, and normally, you know, I'm not, I'm not against getting new missions. I'm not against getting new content, you know, who wouldn't want new content? in the game but this mission is not needed this is a mission that's thrown in with the crate missions and you can randomly get it and it just makes things so complicated and so ridiculous but just take a look at this this is the intro that you get right when you get it and you'll get that call from lupe so let's play that call right here I got a good one. Big oil importer just got a shipment hit by pirates. Crazy, right? These guys' prices got people tripping. Anyways, good news is we got a way to make money out of this. I pinged you a GPS so you can get rolling. I'll explain on the way. I think that you're tripping, Lupe, that you think we can make money out of this. This mission, like I said, will spawn if you buy one, two, or three crates. So I've only bought one crate, and I still get the ridiculously difficult mission. So now they want me to go to Hookies, which is more than halfway across the map, and Lupe calls you one more time. So, the oil's all gone, but get this. The whole shipment was off the records. IRS don't know shit about it. Now the company needs someone to recover all the documentation and shit before the feds start going through the crime scene. You know, manifests, receipts, the ship's black box, all sitting in the bottom of the ocean. You bring in the stuff, they'll trade you straight for some cargo. No paper, no tax, right? They're gonna set you up with some explosives to bust into the containers. Once you got that, just head up in there and get to it. So now we have to go to Hookies, and Hookies is that diner that's on the um, left highway going up to Polito Bay, and we have to retrieve satchel charges from an Emperor car. Now, this mission you can also get in Del Perro, um, which is not too far from Los Santos. However, though, the one here, Hookies, and going to um, Polito Bay is the absolute worst one that you can get just because of the distance. So we go over, we get those satchel charges, and then we have to look where we gotta go. We gotta go all the way up to Polito Bay, making this mission even farther up. And now Lupe calls us one more time here again. Fair warning, we ain't the only ones that know about this wreck. 
Knowing this town, there's probably another crew already up in there. Maybe if you ask nicely, they'll let you use their underwater gear. Anyway, once you get all the goods, I'll send you the place we're doing the trade. So now what we have to do at this point is we have to deal with a bunch of enemies on the beach and they have a turreted vehicle and they can actually snipe you out instantly. Now you need rebreathers on this mission and uh, I'm pretty sure that my character already had full rebreathers but um, for some reason the stupid mission actually does not let you access the um, uh, the accessories tab. So when you try to go to accessories and you do actually try to equip the rebreathers it actually doesn't let you. And so I went into ammunition really quick. I bought um, 10 armors just to stock up on that and then I can't actually purchase on um, the rebreathers which those would be right in the middle of ammunition because it says that I'm wearing a duffel bag and I can't even switch to my scuba diving outfit either I have a scuba diving outfit saved in case I ever need to go in the water I don't really use these rebreathers much a scuba diving suit in my opinion is so much better because you can just um uh, you can just swim uh, swim much faster and you don't have to constantly equip another one um, but the mission doesn't let me it might be, might be because I'm wearing a duffel bag somebody let me know if you can actually equip the scuba diving suit before you actually equip the duffel bag that might be the reason I haven't tested that part specifically but it's still ridiculous that I can't put on my scuba diving suit and I can't even buy them at ammunition so now I gotta go over here and over here is like I said the enemies are a bunch of them and they got a turreted vehicle they got a technical truck with a turret on it now if you're in a vehicle like a helicopter you're some kind of military vehicle it's not that bad to get rid of these guys but the first time that I actually did this mission I actually didn't know what was going on I approached this area really quickly in a sparrow and they actually got on the gun and when they get on that gun they are really accurate on that turret they will not miss and they just hit you once or twice you are dead you instantly die so I just cleared these guys out I got rid of them really quick I accidentally blew up the dinghy here but that wasn't a big deal because I could I could just call one in um from my uh, Kasatka menu. So anyways, I got rid of those guys on the beach and I got the rebreather. Now I have to go out um, uh, to the wreck site and guess what, it's not over yet. So look at this. At the wreck site, the enemies actually have a buzzard helicopter. I get rid of that buzzard helicopter, but then there's also two um, dinghy boats out there and I gotta get rid of those two. I can't, um, uh, I can't just go out there with an air vehicle because, you know, you know how am I going to swim back? You know, I'm going to swim swim a long way back, so I just take a boat out here. But anyways, I'm trying to snipe these guys. The waves just get in, in the way, and they're just getting really annoying. But eventually, I got rid of the two boats. I cleared them out. Now, the mission gets even worse at this point. So now, we got to dive down underwater, and there's basically five crates. In those five crates, there are three valuables. This is not to be confused with cargo. The valuables is what we are basically trading for the um, cargo in this mission. So... We now go underwater to these different um, uh, crates and we put a satchel charge on. Then you gotta wait a few seconds for the satchel charge to detonate. Once the satchel charge detonates, you can go in there and you can get a valuable. And actually, one of the crates, I almost actually got stuck in there. And the crates actually even glitch out during this mission where the satchel charge will actually still be floating um, despite you actually destroying the um, crate. But um, uh, when I finally got the other crates, guys, guess what ended up happening? Helicopters spawn. You, you thought that this mission couldn't get worse, but it does get worse. So now the helicopter spawns. So now for people that experienced this, the last time people experienced this on the vault explosives um, uh, prep in the casino heist on the aggressive approach, when you have to dive underwater for the um, uh, for the explosives, and the second that you pick them up, attack helicopters spawn. And I know the people that experience that are like, oh no, not this again. And so the helicopters, they will actually follow you perfectly. So you can be all the way down underwater, and they will follow you. They know exactly where you are. It's not like they're looking around the area trying to find you they know exactly where you are so they will follow you perfectly even if you're pretty deep underwater when you start rising a little bit above water they start shooting you and they will hit you perfect accuracy they'll drain your health they'll drain your armor that you then get on the boat and then when you're up here on the boat you got to get rid of the helicopters i got rid of two of them and then guess what it gets even worse a third helicopter spawns but i got rid of it one time i actually had four helicopters go after me but in this case i actually had three helicopters um go after me so i get rid of those helicopters and then i finally get back to sh shore now take a look at what i gotta do now i gotta fly all the way across the map and i gotta go to the safe house so now I get all the way across the map, I get to the safe house, my helicopter actually died um, uh, pretty close to there because, it, you know, the engine got shot up pretty bad. I got to the safe house, and when I get to the safe house, guess what? They give me a cargo vehicle. At least it's a decently, decently fast SUV, but now I have to deliver the crates. And look at where I have to deliver them to. Yes, I know I picked that warehouse, but it's still such a, uh, such a far drive, and I gotta do all of that. And guess what? Lupe calls you once again here. Hey, I just heard from their guy. Sounds like it all went to plan. Good shit. Get that stuff back here and we'll do the rest. Hey, I just heard from their guy. Sounds like it all went to plan. <laughs> 
Yeah, everything did go according to plan, Lupe. Yeah, that was that was the that was the best money making opportunity that I have ever encountered. You are a genius, Lupe. You are an absolute genius. So look at that. Look at just how ridiculous that mission was. And guys, I wouldn't be complaining about this mission. I wouldn't be criticizing this mission if you actually got a decent payout. I don't mind a challenge. But the fact that I was just doing one crate, a one crate source mission for a one crate source mission. This mission took me 21 minutes to complete. 21 minutes. It shouldn't take you 21 minutes to retrieve one crate. That's not how, how long that should take. That should be simple. A one crate mission should be done in less than five minutes. This should not be taking 21 minutes. Rockstar took something which should have been so simple, so, uh, so easy. You just pick up a crate and you deliver it to the warehouse, but no. No. Instead, they give us this ridiculous complicated mission, and this mission has now taken the, the kink. This mission has now taken the number one place as the worst crate resupply mission, in my opinion. Out of all the resupply missions that I have seen, you know, for the MC resupply, the bunker resupply, even though I don't personally recommend doing those, uh, I just recommend buying supplies, the crate resupplies, the import-export resupplies, out of all the resupply missions that I have seen, this one is the worst. I know that I'm kind of ranting about this, but I could not believe how ridiculously stupid and complicated this mission was. What were they thinking when they made this mission? Was this literally the same... The same guy who the same guy who who came up with the oppressor mark 2 and the orbital cannon i wouldn't be surprised if that was that person yeah let's take let's add a new crate mission in the game and just make it 10 times more complicated i'm sure that the players will love that so it's like i said guys when you um uh when you get this mission i personally recommend to just literally find a new section just don't deal with this mission even if you lose eighteen thousand uh, dollars if you're buying three crates it's just not worth doing this mission just because the amount of nonsense you could have started another crate mission be doing something else in in the meantime but just for just one crate if they gave you, like, 10 crates at the end of this mission, you know, Lupe says, you know, boss, we got a better opportunity here. You know, we can get 10 crates. You know, that would have been great. You know, that would have been fine with me. I wouldn't have a problem. But it's the amount of effort that you put into this mission. And the fact that, that it's not a mission that you choose. It's a mission, a random mission that you get when you're sourcing crates. And this is, this is all, all I got, one crate. I know you can get three crates during this mission. The mission doesn't change in difficulty. But the fact that I could spawn one crate and get such a ridiculously complicated mission. And if you want to know just how complicated this mission is, right here on the screen, I have steps. I have eight steps in total that show everything that you had to do in this mission. Step one, go to hookies and get satchel charges. Step two, go to Polito Bay. These are all the way across the map. Step three, kill or avoid the enemies on the beach. You're probably have, gonna have to kill the enemies on the beach um, uh, if you don't have rebreathers. And um, also, when you're getting back to shore, the enemies are probably gonna shoot you from the beach, so you probably wanna deal with them. Um, like I said, with a helicopter, this part isn't that bad, but it's still the fact that you gotta deal with them. Step number four, we gotta destroy the helicopter and we gotta kill the two boats. Um, uh, helicopters gotta go blown up. Boats, we might not have to blow up because we might need a boat to get out of there unless the tides take the boat away. That can get really annoying. Step five, we gotta dive underwater, searching five crates for three valuables and speaking of the valuables thankfully at least you can pick up all three valuables at once it's almost like rockstar knew this mission would be bad and so they let you pick up three valuables at once imagine how bad it would be if you had to individually like pick up each um uh each valuable and then go back and forth back and forth to the safe house that'd be the mission would be way worse so then step number six we gotta avoid the three to four backup helicopters or blow them up step number seven we gotta take the valuables to the safe house across the map and step number eight we gotta deliver the cargo in the van that they give us you'd think that they would at least you know give us the crates automatically in our warehouse for all of that effort but they don't and previously before this mission was actually added the number one worst mission worst mission for crate resupplies that most of the community uh, um, agreed on was the um, out to sea mission the out to sea mission and this is from my video a few years ago when I was actually talking about the worst resupply missions that mission was considered the worst crate mission a worst crate resupply mission because you had to go out to sea and oftentimes we were getting three crates and you had to deal with these um, two um, two boats and this main boat and then the, the crates will be in the water and if you're in a helicopter you have to carefully be careful to tut to pick up the crates without getting sunk into the water and then you have to go to your warehouse then you have to go back um, uh, then you gotta pick up the crates, but even that, even how bad that mission was, that mission is 10 times better than this, because this is the steps for that mission. For that mission, previous mission, and you can still get that mission, but the steps were, go out to sea, number one, step two, destroy the boats, step three, retrieve the crates, and step four, deliver the crates. Really half the amount of steps that we had to deal with in this mission. They took, like I said, a mission that should have been simple, and just made it so super complicated. What's the point of adding these new missions into the game if they're just going to be so much hard? I don't mind variety. I don't mind a challenge, but it's, it's the fact that you put all this effort in 
for just one crate? That's stupid. 21 minutes to do one one crate mission and just go through these ridiculous hoops constantly, all of this stuff? I feel like I'm jumping through fire hoops at this point. This is just stupid. This literally, this mission takes longer to complete than some people take on the Casino Heist finale, and that is not a, an exaggeration. That is that is literally how long this mission takes. Literally, a, a, a one crate resupply mission should not take longer than a, 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 a heist finale. And I know some people are watching this video and they're probably laughing at just how stupid this mission is. And I'm, I I know you know I, I don't normally do this where I just make a video talking about one mission, but it was just this mission. I just could not believe how stupid this mission was. Like who who came up with this design? Let me know what you guys think down below. Am I over exaggerating? Do you agree with me? Because I the few people that I have I have shown this mission to, nobody thinks that this mission is a good idea. Everyone who thinks that this mission is stupid, and some people just laugh at just how idiotic this mission is and how many steps it requires, but this is going to push people away from doing crates, um, uh, this mission. But like I said, if you're doing crates, just skip this mission, find a new session. I know you'll lose like $18,000 for the three crates, but it's just not worth the time to put into this mission. This mission is just stupid. The other mission with the auto shop, the, where you, you know, you take a van at the auto shop with the new crate mission, that mission is fine. I don't really have a problem with that mission, but this mission, this mission is just terrible. It's a stupid design mission, and it could be improved if they just simply let us get more crates but just the fact that you can get only one to three crates on this mission that's just terrible but let me know what you guys think down below and i'll see you guys on the next one take care everyone